Joining me now from Los Angeles, attorney and congressional candidate for California District 28, Eric Early. Eric, that's a rather rhetorical question I just asked. If, if they would approve of someone by the nature of Adam Schiff to be in charge of impeachment of a president of the United States, I believe the answer is, is obviously a no. But it's your job to defeat this guy, to send him packing back to his, wherever he lives, whatever hole he lives in, uh, in California. Um, the man who is creating what I call a constitutional nightmare. Uh, you're right, Graham. This guy is a constitutional nightmare. And to answer your question, the framers had never uh, thought that one far uh, left uh, uh, lunatic like Adam Schiff, who is all about himself, who has basic, who has not basically, he's ignored our district for 20 years, uh, would have so much power. And I would submit that one thing the framers never imagined in a million years is that we would have a rabid mainstream media with the power that it has. That, uh, that throws this guy softballs and is fueling him on. Uh, so this is a, 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 bad, a very bad situation, and I'm running against him because this guy has to be taken out. I've been endorsed by the California Republican Party. I've been endorsed by the LA County Republican Party. I've been endorsed by many great conservatives out here, and uh, we're gonna take the fight to this guy, but as you said, it's a very uh, heavily Democrat district. Yeah, and the, the, the evidence is mounting that, that Schiff is, is lying uh, to the American people, he certainly misstated and misrepresented facts regarding the phone conversation because he knows most Americans are probably not going to take the time to actually read the thing, but he completely misrepresented that. The president is now openly talking about via Twitter impeaching, uh, potentially impeaching uh, Adam Schiff. It's probably not going to happen, of course, but at least the president has the guts to, to raise the, the prospect of this happening. You mentioned the district. It's a Democrat plus 23, which is about as heavy Democrat as you can get uh, in a district. So your task is rather daunting. Do the, 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 the folks in the district, District 28 of California, do they support what Adam Schiff is doing, in, in your opinion, either anecdotally or by polling? Graham, this is what I'm finding out here. You have, of course, your far left uh, Dems and anybody who'll say anything bad about uh, about President Trump, even if they're lied to about President Trump, they'll they'll uh, they want to hear more and more of it, and they support it. But we have lots of moderate Democrats in this district, and we have lots of independents in this district, and they are tired of this. Their elected Democrat official in Washington has left them, has just passed them by. This guy's shift. These folks I'm talking about, who I'm working on separating out to get their votes, don't want to be lied to. They know there's a sideshow going on. They know there's the equivalent of almost a coup going on. Right. And they know that our district has been ignored for 20 years by this guy. So that's what I'm that's who I'm talking to in addition to the conservatives. But Schiff has taken this many steps too far and uh, he's lost complete touch with the voters I'm talking. Eric, I have about 30 seconds left. I, I question why Schiff is even leading this impeachment inquiry right now. It should be handled in the Judiciary Committee, not the intel by this hack. Uh, but the, the bottom line is, overall, the constitutional process is not being followed here. The precedence is not being followed, a la Nixon, who was almost uh, impeached, and a la Clinton, who was impeached. There should be a, a House vote, a full House vote, and then proceed. Nancy Pelosi has not allowed that to happen. I totally agree with you. You know, the president has demanded that. Pelosi's not allowing it to happen because she knows she has lots of people in her Democrat caucus that if they vote for impeachment, they'll go and they'll lose an election in districts that are pro-Trump, so, or closely pro-Trump. Pro and that's why they're playing it this way. And, uh, you know, Graham, I appreciate all your support. Your viewers have supported me throughout. EricEarly.com, E-R-I-C-E-A-R-L-Y.com. We need money to beat this guy because yep. our mainstream media out yep. here ignores him, lets him get away with it. I need to afford the advertising to go after him. Well, EricEarly.com. There are a lot of people coast to coast who would uh, nothing more like to see than Adam Schiff sent home from Washington, D.C. so he can't be unconstitutional for all of America because we're all affected by what this guy is doing, unfortunately. Eric, thank you. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.